what up family and welcome back to the channel on today your girl is going to be talking about Mayel one of my favorite hair brands and their sellout to Procter and Gamble and I found some things out about Procter and Gamble that I did not even know so if you want to find out what I found out stay tuned because it's about to get juicy I <laughs> So let's get started with the basics, right? So for anyone who don't know the backstory behind Mayels, they were created and founded by Monique and Melvin Rodriguez back in 2014. So they almost been around nine years. And recently on January 11, 2023, I believe that is the date, they were acquired by PNG, which is known as Procter & Gamble, one of the hugest chains of you know beauty care shampoo shaving products all types of stuff right prilosec heartburn medication cleaning products such as dawn and i'm gonna get to those two in a minute so make sure y'all stay tuned for that so monique and melvin stated that they're going to operate as an independent subsidiary of png beauty so i looked up subsidiary because I was like, okay, what does this mean, right? Subsidiary means to separate the entity that exists under the umbrella of another corporation. So basically they're trying to say it, they're trying to say that Mayel is going to still be a separate from the umbrella of Procter & Gamble. But we all know whoever sits at the top is basically calling the shots, okay? There was a tweet that I seen <laughs> that a lady was like, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. And she was like, y'all, y'all ain't used to being bullied. And here's what she said. Y'all haven't experienced corporate takeovers, but you will. Eventually they will bully owners into doing whatever they want, maybe giving more money or doing it in a wet, in a sneaky way. Oh, there are not enough of the products you need. So let's use this instead to avoid shipping issues. However, per Monique, this was her statement. This partnership with Procter & Gamble will give Mayel an opportunity to serve more textured hair consumers with the great products and formulas that their community loves. Now, as you know, we all love us and Mayels. I know I did, I know I do. And I'm glad I still got a little bit left over of what I do got, but now it's like, man, I haven't had that, um, that oil in a long time. But you know what? There are so many other black owned businesses that we can buy into and support and grow their businesses and grow their clientele, you know? This isn't it for just black owned businesses. So I don't want anyone to be down. Don't be, don't have an attitude. There's so many other black owned businesses and I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around. So I also wanted to point out that Procter & Gamble and Mayel actually have agreed to paying 10 million to Mayel Cares. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that is their nonprofit that they have created. And this nonprofit will provide resources, education, and economic opportunities in black and brown communities, is what they said. So, of course, we don't know until, you know, things start moving and, you know, we're just watching on the sidelines. However, there has been so many responses, so many tweets, so many remarks about, you know, Mayel and them selling to Procter & Gamble and, you know, them being just like other companies such as Carol's Daughter, Main's Choice, and Shea Moisture. Yeah, Shea Moisture, which I don't buy Shea Moisture anymore. I stopped buying them years ago. You know, after I found out that it wasn't black owned anymore, I just quit buying it. And I, um, I do not buy Carol's Daughter products anymore either. There has just been so many comments and people being so disappointed stating 
yeah, I'm, I'm not buying any more products from my yells. I'm done. I'm moving on. There was one lady who said, yep, I'm sorry. I just don't believe her. I don't believe that she's not going to change her ingredients in her products. I, I know she, I know the ingredients are going to change, so I'm moving on. On to the next. It's basically what she said. And what's so crazy is I just wanted to dig a little deeper into Procter & Gamble because my take on the situation is why do we always sell what we work so hard to create and to build? I understand that we want to grow and to make lots of money from our, you know, our brand. But at the same time, I feel like we need to keep it black owned because we're the ones who truly give it the care and love that it actually um, deserves. Like it was created out of a passion because our community needed it. And then it's like, when you sell it to, the person that of another race who don't even care about our hair or don't know who or don't know how to even take care of our hair don't know the ingredients that our hair even needs it's almost like a slap in the face and i'm not saying that monique was wrong uh for selling her her business hey it's her business she can do what, what she want with it but for me i don't feel like the product is going to remain the same me personally i don't because these bigger companies, such as Procter & Gamble, they are monopolizing. Like, let's look at the, the game Monopoly. What is the whole point of the game? To monopolize the board, right? To buy up everything and to own everything till everybody else falls off the board. Hello, it's happening in real life. That is why I feel like we need to keep what we create to ourselves. We need to create it and keep it. It's ours, it's our baby. Nobody else deserves to have it, I feel like. Something that I found out about Procter & Gamble is, why did they pay $8 million out to consumers? Because of their products having a chemical called benzene that is a carcinogen. And for those of you who don't know what a carcinogen is, it is a substance, organism, or agent capable of causing cancer. So, who was this created by? Procter and Gamble. Yeah, that's right. That's the, that's the stuff I'm talking about. And it's like, we partner with a company that is selling products that have cancer causing ingredients in them. So it's like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Then that's not all, check it. This particular article um, stated is Dawn the dish soap toxic for the community. Then as you scroll down, it says is Dawn toxic. It goes off to say, yes, Dawn soap contains toxic ingredients. The Environmental Working Group, EWG, gives Dawn dish soap a D rating. The following ingredients from the ingredient label are a particular concern. This word is so long. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but it causes a high concern for acute aquatic toxins toxicity and some concerns for skin irritation, allergies, and damage, especially for people with sensitive skin. Then they have one of our known toxic ingredients, which is sodium lotharyl sulfate, which um, basically creates concerns for chronic aquatic toxicity, acute aquatic toxicity, damage to vision, and general organ damage. Whoa, that's just in the Dawn soap. And who makes Dawn? Procter & Gamble. That's not all. They also create Prilosec, which is a heartburn medication. And I found out that that heartburn medication was causing people to have a heart attack. Crazy, right? So that's why I'd be like, we shouldn't sell to them. And then why are we selling why are we selling our businesses? We can we can still grow them by hiring people. For instance, back in the day in Tulsa, everything was black owned, which is why, you know, they were mad and they came and burned all of it down because they didn't want us to own our own stuff. Hello. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go look it up. Go do your history lesson and find out what happened to Tulsa, Oklahoma because they burned it down because we owned everything. We had our own grocery stores, beauty supplies, hairdressers, uh, 
post offices. We had everything we needed amongst ourselves. We didn't have to leave out of there to go nowhere to get something. We had everything. So honestly, I feel like we do need to keep our stuff at home because if we don't, what are we gonna own? It's Nowadays, it's all about ownership. And if you're selling your ownership, what do you have? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so like I said, I was gonna show you guys some black owned businesses that carry um, black textured hair products. And this one is Omni, Omni Naturals. She has very good reviews. Um, you can check her out on IG and order you some oil. If you cannot find the Myel's Rosemary and Mint, I've heard nothing but great things about her hair growth potion. So y'all give it a try. Then we're gonna scroll down to Grow Healthy Natural Hair, which they believe in nothing but natural ingredients for their hair care products. So if you want something natural from the earth, I definitely recommend that you give this brand a try and they are black owned. Okay, and then we have my girl growing hair too fast and she got the formula for your behind. So if you wanna grow some hair, you definitely need to check in with my girl. She has grew her hair out from cutting it all off and grew it back and now she's cut it off again. So make sure y'all check her out. She really has great products and I don't think that you will be um, disappointed. So if you are needing some natural hair growth oils or some oils for your hair, then make sure y'all check in with these black owned businesses because they are killing it. Myel's is not the only one killing it. The Strand Collection is killing it too. And so is Youth Restored Elixir. And let me scroll over for her testimonials. She has treated a lot of people with alopecia and just look how their hair has grown out. So if you are needing some alternatives, here you go, loves. I told you I would come through for you. So y'all y'all let me know if y'all need some more Black-owned businesses because I have a lot. So that's my thoughts on it. Make sure y'all let me know your thoughts. If it was you, would you have sold your company for $500 million, $100 million, $10 million, $20 million? Would you sell your company? And why? I would like to know in the comments. So make sure y'all let me know down below uh, what you would do and why. And if you liked this content, be sure to smash that thumbs up button for your girl. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, subscribe. Let's keep building this community. Let's keep growing. Let's keep going. That's all I have for you guys today. I am tied and natural. And I'm gonna catch y'all back on the next video. I, peace.